All right, guys, welcome back in. We got something special today. We're gonna try and repeat Calvin's $50,000 shot here on hole 16, Eagles Crossing. You guys have seen this hole before. It's one of the best shots given the moment in the history of disc golf. I was standing right there when it happened. I couldn't believe it when he pulled it off. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do it today, but I've brought two of the best with me, Gavin Rathbun, Jake Hebenheimer. We're getting three shots each to try and repeat what Calvin Heimberg did that day to win $50,000. See if we can do it. I think it's relevant to discuss the tee shot as well. It's a 705 foot hole, triple islands, going to the furthest one. And Calvin started it off with about a 275 foot shot that Jake's gonna demonstrate for us right now. Calvin trusted his tee shot out over the water. There was some left to right wind that day. Used that clear firebird. And like I said, threw it about 275 feet. So we're gonna go down there to the fairway, see if we can pull that shot off. Let's go. All right, we've made our way down to the spot and it's crazy to even stand here and and reminisce and think about that day. Calvin, right up on this tree right here, you can see we've marked it. This is the exact spot. We went back to YouTube, we watched it, watched it again. His shoulder is touching the tree and he has to step in front of the tree. It's a very awkward angle. He doesn't have the ability to reach back properly. There's so many things about this, including the fact that it covers OB for about 300 feet that are just outstanding and ridiculous, making it one of the best shots we've ever seen. Okay, decision time. This could be a decider. Tricky. How do I have a run up? It's tricky. Man, want to bad. Seems stupid though. All right, no guts, no glory. All right, Jake, what do you think about what we have to do today? I didn't realize it was this hard. I, I kind of figured he was a little farther up, like behind those trees up there, yeah. but this is a, uh, this is pretty insane, guys. I know. And stuffed with the... Yeah, you get one step, basically. There's no running up into this. It's all on the shoulder and elbow. Dude, crazy. In, in that day, he actually had two discs in his hand. He had a Rhino and he had a Destroyer. And he originally dropped that Destroyer, lined up the Rhino, felt like he was almost going to throw it. Like, I held my breath at that moment. I thought it might happen. And then he stopped picked the Destroyer back up, said that line we all know, no, no gluts, no glory. No glory. No gluts, no guts, no glory, insane. And then he threw it uh, so low that the camera had a hard time picking it up. Yeah. I thought he threw it straight into the ground. It I think he kind of did. It just was like that perfect nose two angle. Two inches the above the ground. Burn, burn it. it took a skip that was favorable. Mm -hmm. it, at that point, it definitely could have just skipped OB and it all could have been for naught. But mm -hmm. oh my goodness, crazy to stand here again and think about the day. $50,000 was won on this property in this exact spot. All right, Jake Hebenheimer up first, three shots. Can he pull off the $50,000 shot? It's gonna be tough. Nope, that's insane. <laughs> Round two. All right. <laughs> that's all you get. It's four feet off that tree, maybe. No. It's an effort. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Made it on the end. Let's go. Oh, oh my goodness. We have a chance. Oh my goodness. Okay, we got one more. Got to get a little skinny. That was the one. Hazard back a lot. No, leave it, leave it, oh, leave it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy. That's the spot. All right, so Jake's got one on the island. Made it to the third island. I mean, Jake's forehand power far exceeds mine. I don't even know if I can, like, the power is an issue for me, uh, as well as just the angle, obviously. All right, what am I trusting? Luke Humphrey's D3s. It's got to be. 
And then I've got this super flippy disc that I got from Germ. I can't believe you stuck through those trees. Yeah, that was a little dirty. A little dirty. Wow. Wow, man. <laughs> Calvin Heimberg, you are such a beast, dude. To pull this off in the moment. That's what I did first. It's tough, dude. Man, to judge it all the first time. Dude. It's insane. You know, that's what golf is. We're just judging the lie, the wind, all of it the first time. And to be able to pull it off, wow. Come back, catch it. Definitely keep a good eye on that. Just proving how hard it is. Man, yeah, I'm asking for a perfect shot essentially what it is. I'm asking for a perfect shot. He knew Paul was ahead of him. Euleberry up there had a bit of a better angle, but not something that Paul has really the power to pull off. I don't think I can even get a sidearm there. <laughs> In doing this, it was just a hyper aggressive move by Calvin Heimberg, just to reiterate. With 50 grand on the line to pull off a disc golf shot like this, a 430 foot blind, OB ridden, no backswing shot is incredible. When you guys come to Eagles Crossing, come to this spot. Stand right here. Try and pull this off. Tru truly understand what that moment held, how big it was. Where am I trying this, to go? This is a mom. <laughs> exactly. Where are you trying to go? Jake, zoom in. You got to hold it straight for. What do you want to call it? 410? Right down that OBE path right over and then through yeah, it. 410? Break yeah. over for the last 25? At least. Hey, you ready for this? Yeah. You watching up there? Is it rolling? It is. I'm in trouble. <laughs> So short. It's so weak. Oh, watch out. Should have stopped that. It's one of my favorite discs. It's just gone. <laughs> Disappointment. Right, I'm going to have to somehow get this going down the path and then to fall off the hill down there. It's not going to happen. It's an impossible one. I cannot believe it. Insane shot. Oh no. Oh, no. Bro, that's like when a wide receiver gets both hands on the ball. Wow. Pass pin high. Well, I was a little lucky. Um, not as close. Dude, you're not that much further actually he still had to hit a putt that was the crazy part about it all yeah, yeah, baby. Baby. Oh. second tee shot second putt it can be done Come here, check it out, see for yourself. Can you pull off the $50,000 shot? I could not. But Jake Hebenheimer definitely has the power to. Some of you might as well. Big shout out to Eagles Crossing for having us out. If you haven't checked this place out, you have to check it out. It's unbelievable. The fact that we play disc golf and it's only for disc golf still blows my mind every time I come here. Well, I got to go swimming for that disc. We'll see you guys next time.